Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101. I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. The Giants beat the Braves 5-3 today. If the number one morale booster is beating the Dodgers, number two is beating the Atlanta Braves, especially at the start of July. And what is July? It's trade deadline month. It's important that we don't take this one for granted or miss the significance of it. The, the Giants, what do you think of an incident like this where they beat the Braves, they beat them 5-3 from an overall wildcard perspective? I'm doing something a little unusual, just, just going to go over the game at the end, and, and right now we're, we're going to talk about its implications. The Braves, they're going to be buyers this year. Just letting you know that. They're going to be buyers, and they're not going to sacrifice their future for it. And, and, and you know why? It's, it's, it's because everybody knows right now that Alex Anthopoulos, their general manager, is, is just the best genius in baseball right now, and he can make every trade go his way. Everybody, like like the entire, the entire MLB community, everybody involved is going to be watching what he's going to do when the end of July finally comes up. Everybody's eyes are going to be on the Braves. They're going to be buyers. I I really think that's not open to question. They they have to fall in, into a huge slide. Which, realistically, is, is that going to happen? I don't think so. What they're looking at right now is probably a wild card. Now, you just think about the Giants, who are coming off two years where at the trade deadline, they, they should have been buyers. And yeah, I, 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 I'm including, I mean, even last year in 2023, where the market looked slimmer than normal. They needed to be buyers. But in reality... Selling, even having a, a real fire sale, would have been better than doing what they did, taking the weird stance at the trade deadline that they, they took the past couple of years. And now, maybe it seems like we say the same thing every year, but if they need some kind of confidence booster, they're in wild card contention. Beating the Braves, like, I would hope that means something, and we still have to see how the rest of this series goes. But getting a good start on game one, I mean, the teams that, that really can be expected to perform at the trade deadline, the Braves are certainly one of them, maybe the top one, at, at least from a perspective of teams just in the vicinity of contending for the wild card. And at the very least, this, we, we hope it, we, we can hope it boosts what the Giants believe in themselves as, as far as being able to do. So beating the Braves, that, that, that was the thing that needed to happen. Still below 500, the Giants are at a 42 and 44 record. But we're in that, and, and this, this wouldn't even be the same thing had it happened two months ago. Beating the Braves at the start of July, which is our trade deadline month, I really can think of no better start to the month that the Giants could possibly have had. Because now we see that they can beat a team that would be closely contending with for a wild card spot. The evidence is there that even with the up and down first half of the season, the Giants actually can do it if they get what they need at the trade deadline. And, and clearly, we're not just talking about Robbie Ray coming back from the injured list around that time frame. That's great, but it's, it's not enough. If the Giants this year can realize that just like they are staying in it on the field, they have to stay in it off the field as, as well if, if they want to get consistent and hold out. That's can't guarantee anything, but if, if you think about it, this could be a step there in the right direction. So the game today, we, we have the, the power from the guys who are 
who are just normally thought of as the power bats, Jorge Soler, Lamont Wade Jr., and Elliot Ramos. They, they all hit home runs. The Giants scored five runs, won a close game, and it was the second start of the year for Hayden Birdsong, the prospect that's recently been up, and then the bullpen held it off after that. So it's a good win by the Giants, and they're, they're back on their way now. If, if we see the record, back back to 500, two games now behind. We are in the second half of the season. And, and somehow they, they just need to find a way to avoid a slide, which all of them have been at, at really the wrong time. If, if, if all that it does is, is just turns the attention of the top executives away from what has to happen. But you know, it's it's this this team r- really could be a wild card team. That that's evidence really is there for that. And the key is is that the process gets completed, and it it won't unless the right decisions are made. But this year, I I think the the start to the month of July we've had, if it continues, it's a step. In, in the right direction in that regard. Thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, please leave your questions and comments. You know where to do it. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.